there are over 80 countries across the globe that still criminalize homosexuality, or seven or eight countries that actually uphold a death penalty. 13 of my friends have been brutally murdered. We can't walk down our streets here in Sri Lanka because we all get in prison 10 years. Is it a movement? Is it a private movement? If yes, we should move something. There are only a very few people who um, still remember what Pride is all about. And it's not just the straight community, but it's within our own community. Prides have to change their political focus a little bit. And you can't go march for the same things you used to march for. Most people who are marching understand that this is about claiming rights for everybody. Because they know that, that if they can be restricted, if they can be repressed, it can happen to anyone. This is where it starts. Political change is about working on different levels. Sometimes you got to hit the streets. Most of us come from other places. Most of us also have a history of having experienced homophobia in some fairly severe forms. On the other side, if you look at the story of Jonathan and David, that's a gay love story. David said, your love for me was more than the love of a man for a woman. I will be there with you tomorrow. Oh my God, what have I got myself into this time? We were told that the police wanted us off the street, we didn't have a permit, that we couldn't walk, and if we didn't move, we'd be arrested. Looks like they've changed their mind. It's our answer to guns and bombs, quite truthfully. I have seen the world change. I have seen it change profoundly. It's about basic political rights. I, I don't think anybody should ever forget that. The politics of pride is, in that sense, really simple.